Shalom. Want to make sure this was recording correctly and not user error. <laughs> and there's so much going on, and I just wanted to um, put some of these out here um, so people can just take some time to think about it. So it's not like, you know, a lot of people are very busy, which is a good thing. Sometimes you can actually get back and, and think and take some time and to process what's going on without having to be bombarded with distractions and entertainment. So we're coming up on Hanukkah, and maybe people don't know this, that it was a belated celebration of the fall festival of Sukkot. And this is recorded in 2 Maccabees. Um, and it was uh, compiled about the same time as 1 Maccabees. So we're going to read some of this. Now Maccabees and his followers, the Lord leading them on, recovered the temple and the city. They tore down the altars that had been built in the public square by the foreigners. Also destroyed the sacred, sacred precincts. They purified the sanctuary and made another altar of sacrifice. Then striking fire out of flint, they offered sacrifices after a lapse of two years. And they offered incense and lighted lamps and set out the bread of his presence, which I love that. I love the thought of the bread of his presence. And when they had done this, they fell prostrate and implored the Lord, your Jehovah, that they might never again fall into such misfortunes, but that if they should ever sin, they might be disciplined by him with forbearance and not be handed over to blasphemous and barbarous nations. It happened that on the same day on which the sanctuary had been profaned by the foreigners, the purification of the sanctuary took place. That is, on the 25th day of the same month which was Kislev. They celebrated it for eight days with rejoicing in the manner of the Festival of Booths, remembering how long, not long before, during the Festival of Booths, they had been wandering in the mountains and caves like wild animals, therefore carrying ivy-wreathed wands and beautiful branches and also fawns of palm. They offered hymns of thanksgiving to him who had given success to the purifying of his own holy place. They decreed by public edict, ratified by vote, that the whole nation of the Jews should observe these days every year. So some lighted palms, well, that's not it, but lighted palm trees. And the miracle of the small cruise of oil, enough for one day, that miraculously lasted eight days, wasn't part of the Hanukkah celebrations until the holiday had been observed for 600 years. So again, you have some tradition that is taking place, you know, over the years that's replaced kind of what the true nugget of truth is. So there was nothing in there about the miracle of the oil. They just celebrated as a second Sukkot. So, and you know, that's clearly recorded in Maccabees. So you can look that up for yourself. And this is some kind of, this is some, uh, some, of the history of the like, tradition and there's some of the rebellion that occurred um, and this is from the Midrashim how Matthias's daughter Hannah go to her father and brothers into fighting the Greeks to protect her from being raped by the local governor and this was the same thing like Dina being raped and Dina means judged or judgment or vindicated and you can look this up and I just wanted to make this connection that probably a lot of history says oh this was just a myth that what happened to the Scottish um, <laughs> the English quote-unquote lords had did this to the Scottish and you can you know look at that up and some of the history of that but patterns repeat in history and I wanted to you know just give you an idea that there's truth to things and, and there's things that tradition has kind of overtaken but if you kind of pull back the wool <laughs> pull back the stuff and, and just look at the the text and see what it was and get rid of the tradition part you'll be able to kind of get an idea of what this was really about so you know because they missed it and they weren't able to keep it, they did this to honor 
but the oil part is 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 rabbinic tradition and we'll go through some other traditions that are pretty common now and it's not really what it was so palm trees is very significant and the righteous will flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon this is Psalm 92 12 and palm trees are symbolic of righteousness of um, being straight do you understand so I, I've got here you can pause the video and look at this and and what Moshe talked about, you shall take for you on the first day of the fruit of the tree of honor, spathes of palm trees, and a branch of a dense tree, and willows of a torrent. And you shall be glad before Jehovah, your Elohim, seven days. And so we're talking about tradition. We can't just talk, oh, the Jews did this. Oh, and Christians have got it all together with Christmas. They don't. So he, a lot of people have been talking about the Puritans. And Puritans did not celebrate Christmas. So you need to again go back into the beginning why they fled, where they went, what they did. And Massachusetts actually had banned Christmas. And you can go to this on history.com and the links will be in the description box. Oh, so, and you go through, and I'm going to put this in here um, so you can look at it yourself. And I wanted to really make a note of this and Jeremiah chapter 10 talks about the Christmas tree <laughs> read this for yourself and, I, and this is very important where we're at right now hear the word of which Jehovah speaks to you a house of Israel thus says Jehovah do not learn the way of the Gentiles and do not be awed by the signs of the heavens for Gentiles are awed by them Yes, there are signs in the heavens. Are we supposed to be awed by them? No. For the prescribed customs of these peoples are worthless. For one cuts a tree from the forest, work for the hands of a craftsman with a cutting tool. They adorn it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and hammers so that it does not topple. For they are rounded like a rounded post and they do not speak. They have to be carried because they do not walk. Do not be afraid of them, for they do no evil nor is it in them to do any good. There is none like you, Jehovah. You are great, and great is your name and might. Who would not fear you, O sovereign of nations? For this is your due. For among all the wise men of the nations and all their reigns, there is none like you. They are bo both brutish and foolish, and instruction of worthlessness is the tree. So again, you have this deity, which I will not name, and this deity here, which I will not name, every winter, and they re had a rebirth of this deity with an evergreen tree decked with silver and gold. So you have that tree versus a palm tree. Do you understand the difference? And then Ezekiel talks about they put their nose to the branch. And this has been, I had a video about this before, so I want you to make, I want to make a connection of where we're at right now. So Ezekiel 8, the vision of idolatry in the temple. So we're the temple of the Rahu Kadesh. So he brought me to the inner court of the house of Jehovah, and there at the entrance of the temple of Jehovah, between the portico and the altar. So what again, we're talking about the Maccabees and what they did. They cleansed the altar, right? were about 25 men with their backs to the temple of Jehovah, with their faces toward the east, and they were bowing down, bowing to the east in worship of the sun. Okay? Son of man, do you see this? Is it not enough for the house of Judah to be to commit the abominations they are practicing here, that they also must also fill the land with violence and continually provoke me to anger? Look, they're even putting the branch to their nose. Therefore, I will respond with wrath. I will not look on them with pity, nor will I spare them. Although they shout loudly in my ears, I will not listen to them. And then you have John 10, 22. Yochanan. At that time, the feast of dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Yeshua was walking in the temple courts in Solomon's portico. It's the same time frame. Because... They're sticking their nose to the branch, and you can see another the other video I did on this, and you have Solomon's portico. So Ezekiel is seeing idol worship during the Feast of Dedication. Do you understand this and what this was in Nicolaus? 
and how he hates the Nicolaitans and the Babylonians with their sun god. All this stuff is right now. And I wanted to um, just give you this connection to this and what we're at right now. So, I know it's very difficult for people that have not come out this and pe families don't understand, especially with all this stuff going on right now. I do have a code table and I think it's extremely important. So, I'm, I'm, there's alternatives that you can do. We've all had to come out of something. You know, we've all had to get rid of the traditions and we've had to like, okay, this is the truth. This is what it was. Okay, how can we get back to the way it was at the beginning? So, no tree. However, you can do palm trees. He's, he, palm trees are great. Moshe did it. <laughs> so, maybe, maybe get a palm tree, decorate it, you know, something like that. Get rid of all the stuff that would be something that would bring worship to another deity. It's just some thoughts. Um, I happen to like blue and white snowflakes. So I put blue and white snowflakes up. Love snowflakes, pun intended, as well as real snowflakes. So I have a palm tree and, and you know, when we bring that in and we, and we celebrate and we dedicate our hearts during the season back to him for him to come and cleanse us prepare us for what he has for us and some people do honor honor him in their own way and how they are able to understand so i just want to at least give this connection and maybe some other things that you can do um, to help um, but i wanted to uh, share that with you I will be sharing this code table um, in just a second, but I wanted to bring this up. This is kind of funny. So this song has been playing in my head for a long time now, Sitting Up With The Dead. Not only did the dead sit up, they voted too. So <laughs> I'll, put this, I'll put this in the link so you can listen to it. <laughs> and so he falls into the grave and, and the guy that dug it's still in there and he says you might as well come over here and sit down beside me boy as I can see you ain't getting out of here tonight he goes, but I did <laughs> so you've had the resurrection of the dead so not only did they sit up they voted and this would be around the connection that I had for Thanksgiving everything but the kitchen sink dream so <laughs> When I, when the Democrats put the Mord bags and with the uh, in front of the Republicans, I thought that was funny because they had tags on them, and I'm like, oh gosh, wow. Okay, you've ever, obviously have a sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> so the code table I wanted to share is a little bit with trepidation. So again, I had a lot of computer issues and something, it's stuck at a certain number. I have absolutely no idea why. Maybe because I'm only supposed to do certain things. I have no idea. But what I am able to search is what he gives me. And that's what I do. So I wanted to share this. And I, I please take this in prayer. Please don't just believe what people say. Think. This is what I'm tell him please just stop and think listen to what the Yeshua is telling you listen to his spirit get away unplug stop listening to talking heads all the time that's why I have no head on here that's why I don't have because I want you just to listen and take this in and see what he tells you it's very important because where we're at right now so I did a code table on serum and vaccine it comes up again this is frozen I have absolutely no idea why but look at Job in Job chapter 20 it's right here though he spares it and forsakes it not but keeps it s still in his mouth so this is the ta so the the ta starts in Job chapter 20 and you can look at the the various scriptures on that about the viper um, it's just a little nerve-wracking give me a second Whew. oh 
Okay. So you have screechy, exquisite, acute, biting, corrosive, premutation, variance, turnover, variation, alteration, modification, and change. And I did this in layers so you can see because there's so much just here. It is it's very um, it's it's a lot. So here would be the premutation right here. Vaccine or serum is right here. This is the access term. You have <sighs> correct reform repair. This is in the kind of like the bl the brownish color right here. Let me make it bigger. And you have venom, a poison, which is in the bright blue. So it's not only as a code, but it's in the plain text. You have sickle. And I wanted you to understand that Fauci's name means sickle. It's from Southern Italian. It's occupational name for a sickle maker or someone who used a sickle. It's Sicilian. So Re Revelation 14, 14 through 16. And I looked, behold, a white cloud, and upon the cloud one sat, like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown, and in his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for a harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. So this is again the access term vaccine serum. Okay. And it's Job top, chapter 20. 13 is where the ta is. Now his bones are full of his youth. But it shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Though he hide it under his tongue. Though he spare it. And will not let it go. But keep it still within his mouth. Yet his food in his bowels is turned. It is gall of asps within him. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. So, um, it, it, this is talking about a snake, obviously. One of the things that's in here, I, I put this in here so you can really see it. Um, and I'll just pause it. You can just pause it and look at it. Farago um, means confused mixture. We all know chip. And I did a video on this before. So again, look at the other video. It talks about, about health care and different things like that. All right. So we have crown, corona, decapitated, beheaded. Um, not only does Job talk about Leviathan, Leviathan is encoded in Job. So this starts at the El, the Lamed, and goes all the way across. So this is Leviathan. You have Pallid right here. And again, pandemic. We all know what pan means, okay? And again, Dr. Fauci's name is Sickle. So chip is also in here. I wanted to at least show some of the terms so you can see how many times this stuff comes up. It's all over the place here. Um, I don't think it saved it, but I'll see what I have here. There's other things that came up in here. Implanted. I don't know if it's going to freeze on me again. It probably will. So it's just crazy tracker so it's remember it's what they want you to believe 
means to an end create the crisis so that they can bring the solution beast two different ways mixing imparting impregnable contaminate aborted ovary abyss is in here there's just so much so i couldn't get everything here you wouldn't be able to look at the table and and, and look and see what is there so that's why i did it broke it down this way and you can see the terms again that here's the leviathan right here this is corona crown so it's matching what's in revelation and also there's nations in here so you can look this up it can just give you some ideas to to look through this and find out more also acorn is in here an accelerator so take this time and really press in to to yeshua press into him and, and know what this is about um take time and just and just get away from the things of the world and what people may think so it, you don't have, you're not going to be able to gather so much and if you have a problem with Christmas and you have a problem with some things you know take this time and just hang out with you and the king of the universe the real king the king of king and the Lord of Lords and get your heart right before him because obviously things are happening really quickly and this is a warning so you know what this is it is clear um, that this is something else going on as well it is a plague there are people that are really struggling with this but it's much more than what they're making it out to be people have a hard time comprehending that there's layers of things and I think because of our generation and the way we were raised in this time that we're in people think that it's only just one thing it's layers and layers and layers of deception so i i love you um be blessed seek him while he may be found and call upon him while he is near he loves you so much that he is warning people he's given them time to come home before it's too late and i just wanted to ho I hope this blesses and um, have a great shabbat and happy hanukkah and merry christmas <laughs> for those that just can't even comprehend that there's something else out there you know cut down that tree and get rid of it <laughs> ask god to pure clean and get you ready so but there's other things that you can do that is is good and that's righteous um, and not participate in things that you probably could never even comprehend that this was bad so um, shalom <laughs>